you want me to fire Bo and make you police commissioner? Of course not. I'm a man of the cloth with a mission of my own. But I did know someone who would be perfect for the job. Who? Oh, I'll let you know. When the position is open. I'm not going to fire Bo, so you might as well tell me who you have in mind. Fine. It's your loss. Dorian, you will be the one who loses if you refuse to cooperate. I'll, I'll throw a sleeping bag on the floor. No, you are not going to sleep on the floor. You're a med student who barely gets enough sleep as it is. Kyle, I'll find some place else. It's, to it's stay. okay. It's, it's okay. You need a place to stay while you heal up. Okay? It, it's not going to be for long. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I, I mean, it's bad enough that those creeps beat you up. You don't want them to think that they sideline. Oh. Oh. Exactly. Right. Listen, Kyle, I, I really appreciate you letting me stay here. But you're not going to wait on me. I, I need to get up and start moving around. No worry. I still know where everything is. There's a lot to take in. Okay, finding out that Lawrence is my father. And him killing Jared and the stabbing. Wanting him to die. It's a lot. I know, honey. But you're going to get through it. You always do. But listen to me. You steer clear of him. The truth is, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about Lawrence and what it all means and not enough time with Gigi. Hey, baby, that's no excuse. I mean, I can't believe that she left you for that washed-up druggie. She didn't leave. I asked her to go. You threw her out? The mother of my grandson? No, of course not. She's just, she's been so conflicted. I thought that she needed to take some time to herself. I thought that it would be good for me, too. We both just need time to think. Think? How many times have I told you thinking is completely overrated? Listen, baby, what you got to do is you both got to get horizontal. And I know I'm your mother, and it's a little weird me saying that, but that's the truth. And you got to know what you're fighting for. And you got to put this thing back together again. And you've done it before, twice, and you'll do it again. <gasps> you will. I'm not so sure. I hope I can find the answer while I'm up here. Because the truth is, I just don't know. Well, you just eat one of my lost lamb looking for her shepherd pies that I made for you. Maybe that'll help. I'll be all right, sweetie. Mm, I don't know what I would do without you and Vicky. Well, you don't have to worry about that, because we're not going anywhere. You are stuck with us. Good, because I have another favor. Oh, Mo and I'll look in on Shane. I know. No junk food. <laughs> I'm checking on Rex. Because he's got a lot going on right now. This whole Mitch Lawrence thing is really killing him. I'll pop in once a day, make sure they've eaten and washed behind their ears. But you have to take care of you. I'll try. Okay. Mm. You'll figure it out, sweetie. I just know you will. You gonna be okay in there? God, I hope so. <laughs> oh, God. It only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's the ribs. Yeah. You yeah. still have that um, organic soap I like? Yeah, just don't use it all up this time. <clears throat> so how you doing? I didn't know you had organic soap. And that's crucial information now? No, it's information that he has and I don't. And that you let your milk spoil and that he knows where everything is. <laughs> Ollie. You getting jealous, okay, yeah? Don't, don't whisper. He's going to hear and know that we're talking about it. Okay. So let's, let's, let's talk about Layla. I mean, you, you live with her, right? So she probably knows a ton of stuff about you that I don't know. That is it's completely different and you know it. Why? Why? She's your ex and... Is mine. We're friends, Oliver. Friends, just like you and Layla. I know. I know. I guess I'm just disappointed we didn't get to be together. Because now, who knows when that's going to happen. Yeah. I get it. Me too. I'm disappointed too. But we'll find time. Okay? I was just leaving. <laughs> 
So I ran into Rex. Uh, he said you moved out. I just wanted to see if you were okay. I'm okay. How do you look? Uh, not great. Did he tell you why I left? Yeah, he said that you were taking some time for yourself, but that, that you guys were getting back together and it's all good. Is that true? Not really. It's what he wants to believe. What do you want? The truth is, Rex asked me to leave so I could figure out how I felt about you. Does Rex know about this? I don't think so. I mean, as far as I know, only the people involved know. Well, you and me. So what are you going to do with this? I'm going to try and figure out a way to use those leverage in case I need Rex's daddy on my side. <laughs> Girl, you are an evil genius. Oh, okay, look who's talking. Look what you just pulled off. What I'd give to be a fly on the wall at that mansion. Yeah, too bad Nigel's such a stick in the mud. He'd be a great source. Yeah, not a chance. He's loyal. You know, it's a good thing you had that job. You have an excuse to go over there. Yeah, but I gotta bide my time, make him come to me. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing with Rex. I told him how sorry I was to hear about Gigi leaving. I was so broken up, he probably didn't even notice. So where's Sky? He'd be smart. He's on his way to go see Gigi. Oh, I'm so glad Sky's come around. I hated that new and improved version. <sighs> Me too. But you know, I think he'll come through. Yeah, if he likes her as much as he says he does. And then Rex will come running back to me. <laughs> With little Love Junior here, it'll be a little bigger, so I don't have to wear this pad. Rex can actually feel the baby kick. And you can use that can of blood to prove that it's a balsam and not a fish. Well, technically, Rex is a Lawrence. Oh. You know, I think it's time you meet your grandpa. You want me to abuse the powers of my office? Well, I won't do it. Oh, what's the matter, Dorian? Scruples? I worked hard to get this job, and I'm not going to give it all away to someone like you. I'm willing to share power. Big of you. You'll be my right hand. Oh, yes, I can just <laughs> see it, of course. One of your minions as police commissioner running things. And, of course, I'm having to explain to the press why the crime rate has gone sky high, why the budget deficit is even higher than that, and why you have moved into town hall. Oh, you can keep town hall. I'll, I'll just find myself a little place down by the lake. The only place you're going is prison. Not if you care about your family as much as I care about mine. 